Hello everyone, it's Rachel live at Lamb Library. Um, today we're going to be sewing a felt cat. Um, these kits to go are available at Lamb and you can register online um, or call us and let us know you want them because I still have a lot of kits available. Um, so let me first off start by telling you guys I have next week I'll be doing a youth graphic novel hangout live. So if you're a teen or a tween, um, you can call us or just come in for a curbside pickup to pick up one of these kits that we're going to be going live next Friday to talk about the graphic novel Cats Cafe. And this is going to be available on Hoopla. So if you don't have the app, just get it and you can log in and download so many different books and movies and comic books and everything for free on the Hoopla app just using your library card number, okay? And um, this kit has a necklace. We're gonna make a little sweet candy necklace. It has some stickers and it has um, just the info on the live. So if you're a teen or a tween and interested in that, it will be like a little hangout we can do next Friday. Um, so right now we're curbside only. So make sure to call us and say you wanna pick up a kit, okay? Um, so in your kit, if you've already received it, if there's going to be um, two little baggies in there. The first bag is going to have the instructions and pattern. Um, and then there's going to be enough for making two cats, okay? We've got two different colors of cats. I tried to um, match the colors of the string up with the colors of the buttons, with the colors of the felt. So you can do whatever you um, use, whichever color buttons with whichever color felt. But I just made them all kind of go together because I wanted it to be like that. And then in the other bag is going to be your, your stuffing. I think we're going to have enough for more than two cats, but um, I wanted to make sure we had enough. And uh, um, we can also, if you have catnip, if you want, or you're making these little toys for your cat, you could put a little bit of catnip in it. Or if you're making it just to be for you, you can put some lavender in it, make it calming. Really, you can do whatever you want. And... Um, it's all gonna be great. Uh, let me see. So for from home, you're gonna need scissors. So I got my scissors, and then maybe a ruler. I have one of these just so that we can make our lines. You don't really need it, but make sure to have scissors. So inside of your kit, you're gonna have. Oh, don't, I'm gonna lose my buttons. Inside your kit, you're gonna have the two pieces of felt two embroidery flosses, and then in here we're going to have um, two pins because we're going to pin the pattern. Don't don't poke yourself, okay? And then here we'll tell you what you have. Um, and then in the felt is going to be your sewing needle, so make sure to get that out because you don't want to lose that, okay? And then um, you're going to pick which color cat you want to do first. So I'm just going to start with purple, purple cat. Um, if you have any questions or co comments or anything during this, just write your comment. Um, this will be recorded, so it will be, you'll be able to watch it again. And every comment I see I can reply to uh, live or I'll reply to um, after the fact too. Or you can just call or email me at LAM um, if you're looking for a kit. So to start off our cat we're gonna fold this in half because we have to cut two of this color to make the cat so i'm just gonna fold it in half actually and cut cut it into two pieces so just down the fold so now you have two rectangles of purple okay and then we can put them on top of each other I'm going to cut out my pattern, my handy dandy cat pattern, there we go, and then I'm going to cut, him, cut around him. And then make sure these are lined up good, and then you take your pins. And you're going to pin, make sure to pin through both 
pieces of the felt. Okay. Just like that, make sure it's pinned all the way through. Take your scissors. Well, I guess I didn't really even need this. I'm going to cut around the cat. Let's hope my scissors are sharp enough for doing two pieces of felt. I didn't test it. And if he's not perfectly shaped, it's okay, don't worry. This is just about having fun, as I've said every time. It's always about just, I think sewing and cutting is relaxing. Maybe to some people it's not, but to me, it, it helps me relax. Even, and if the cat isn't perfectly shaped, he'll be unique. Because, you know, all cats are beautiful no matter what. Kitty cats. If you love cats, comment a cat emoji because I do. My cat, I didn't, I was supposed to bring a, um, my example today that I had already sewed. But um, my cat already claimed it. So he's been playing with it for days. He loves it. So if you have a cat um who doesn't tear up little tiny stuffies he'll or they will love love this little toy because my cat does okay so now that you've cut out your purples it's gonna look like this you're gonna have two pieces that look like that perfect um, and we can go ahead and cut the second one so that this step is all done for both things. So as you, as I did before, we're going to fold this into half. We're going to cut, cut it down the hole so that you have two rectangle pieces. I'm going to put them on top of each other. And then put the cat on there. Pin it through both pieces. And this is like a fun, easy, cheap um, little craft to make with kids to make for your cats or your dog for anything. Like this is a cute little gift idea. Um, cause everybody likes a little stuffy, especially a cat stuffy. I'm biased towards cats, as you can see. <laughs> okay. And then just cut along the pattern. Maybe this one will have a little bigger of ears than the other one. I don't know. Just get crazy with it. Okay. I hope everybody had a safe and happy Thanksgiving and didn't that um, everybody's doing well. I know I had a really great day. All right. Done with those, so I'm just gonna stick my pins back into my pattern just so I don't lose them or step on them because that will not be fun. So I'm just gonna put my pattern away for now because I've got my two cats cut out and ready. They look like tulips. <laughs> so, okay, so next step, we're going to sew the eyes on, okay? So we're gonna take, uh, I'll take purple. We're gonna take the purple cat and I'm going to take the top half of him, whichever half, it doesn't really matter. Just one piece, take one piece, and then I'm gonna decide, do I wanna put green eyes on my purple cat or purple eyes on my purple cat? Um, let me see. You can do it 
either way you can do whatever you think looks cool i think i'm gonna do it like this so i'm gonna put green eyes on my purple cat and purple eyes on my green cat so they're gonna be the opposites so i'm gonna start with the purple cat and let's see i think i'm gonna use green thread for the purple cat too okay so what we're gonna do is open up our thread and make sure you didn't lose your little needle because we're gonna need that. I'm hoping I don't have any knots because knots are not fun. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna cut the end because it's a little bit. And then I'm gonna stick it through the needle eye. Drank a little bit too much coffee this morning. Can you feel it? Okay. Okay, and then you're gonna pull maybe, I think that will be enough. This length will be enough for the eyes. So I'm gonna just cut that. And then I'm gonna put a knot at the end. So now you have your string on. And we're going to take our first cat eye, position it wherever you want your little cat eye to be. And then we're going to push from the bottom because this is going to be, the, the ends are going to be hidden inside the stuffy. We're going to go from inside and then we're going to X over to, oh, we're going to go up and then X down and then pull and then make sure to go through, wow, sorry guys. Make sure to go through the loop down here so that it doesn't go through, that it gets end, like it becomes an end. But, and then it should be on there. But we're gonna go through the bottom on the other side. Why do I keep, sorry guys. It's hard to look at at the cat and at the screen to make sure I'm doing it right. So up and then in through the other side. So then we made an X. Oh, make sure to pull it tight. And now it's X down there. And we'll flip it over and we can just push it through. And then as I like to do to end it is always go through the loop just to make sure it's nice and tight. So. I can do it. Go through the loop and pull tight and then that knots it. And you can do that a second time if you're worried about it coming undone but it should it should be fine because it's gonna be inside the doll. But then you can cut the ends and one eye is already on. And then we have enough string that we can just knot this again to use the same string to put on the second eye. So let me see. How close do I want my eyes? I think that should be good. So as I said before, you're gonna come out from the bottom into the bottom, let's say the bottom right corner, or some of it, your buttons might only have two eyes in them. Uh, just, you won't need to do the X, you'll just do maybe double because the buttons all are different, but I got ones with four eyes. Apparently. So I'll go up through the bottom one and then go to the left top one down and then pull through and then make sure to go through the loop of the end to make sure it ends just like that. And then we can flip it over and go through the bottom bottom left one from the back, pull, and then go through the top right one, back through there, just like that. And then we'll flip it over and do the same thing to end. Push it up through, through this, like that, and then pull it through the loop at the end. 
circle tight. I'm going to do it one more time. And pull it through the loops at the end. And the second eye is done. So it should look like so. So now that his face is ready, we're going to sew his body on. I need to get a longer piece of strings, but hopefully I can go all the way around his body without having to tie an extra knot. Okay. So we're going to take his, the back side and the front side. Oh, wait. My bad. So before we put the front on the back, we're going to sew him some whiskers. So I should put this thread back on there. I'm going to put the small thread back on there because I want to put some whiskers on him before sewing the back on. I forgot about that. And there's my shaky coffee hands. Sorry. Let me see if I can thread the needle. If you're, if you're just coming on here because you just saw the stream and you're interested in what I'm doing, I'm sewing some cats, salt cats. Um, I have the kits to go here at Lamb Library, and I have a quite a few left. So if you want one, please call us, and we can have it ready for you to curbside pickup because you're not gonna not have fun doing this because sewing a cat is fun. So to make the whiskers, I'm going to go um, a little bit far, like maybe an inch down from his eyeball. I'm going to push up through. And then I'm going to go over maybe a half an inch, push back through. And then pull. And you don't need to go through because I think the knot's going to be big enough. And if you don't think so, we can knot it a second time just to make sure. I don't want that his little whiskers won't come out. I'm just going to knot it. I think it should be safe. So that's one whisker. And then I'm just going to go down maybe half an inch that pull up and then push back through now he's got two green whiskers look how cute and then one more time we're gonna pull up and then down through hello everybody who's just joined us he's got three whiskers now look how cute i like the green and purple i think it looks great i think my cat's gonna love it too so now I'm going to turn to the back and I'm going to, let's see, how do I want to knot this? Just going to create a knot just like that and then put my thumb on there and pull tight just like that. And then we can, we can do a second whip round through it pull through the loop just to keep it secure. Okay, and then we'll cut that off. Oop. Can't read this. And then one set of whiskers is done. Can I do one more? The left side now. So 
see if I can have my screen up, down, up. And they don't have to be perfect. He's a cute and unique cat. That's gonna be cute no matter what. And three whiskers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just cut this and then do a knot in the back. It's not long enough. Then. So I'm gonna cut that and then just use the two like this. And knot it a couple times so that it doesn't pull through. A few times. I just don't want it to pull through. But there we go, we've got six whiskers on this little kitty. Okay, and then I'm going to cut the excess thread. Just so it won't be in our way. Just cut all the excess thread. Just like that. And then his face is ready. So now that that's ready, we can put the front to the back. Okay. Gonna take a piece of string. And now I've lost my needle. Oh, here it is. <laughs> it's like, well, what will I do without a needle? I don't think I can hand sew with just my hands. So I'm going to thread another kind of green thread. Sometimes it's difficult to... Okay, so I'm gonna make it mm, probably arm's length because I wanna make sure I have enough to go around. So I'm gonna do like, pull it to arm's length, doubled, as you can see. Cut it, and just in case we have enough that we can do it again. We're gonna tie a knot at the end. Like so, and then get to there. You go, and then decide where you're gonna start sewing your cat. I think I'm gonna start at um, this point of his ear because then I can go around this way and then put the stuffing in his side on this side. Okay, but you can start wherever you want. I'm gonna start here. So I'm gonna to make sure I have my stitch inside. I'm gonna only first push the the needle through the top half, just like that. And pull it through, just like that. And then I'm gonna push it through the, again through the bottom half. And you can, just like that. So now we have a, one stitch on there. So I'm going to push, now I can go through both sides. So I'm gonna push bottom bottom to top, maybe half an inch up, pull up. This is the same, if you were here to make the little relaxation dolls, we're doing the same stitch. So pull up until you get this about here and then put your needle through that loop and then pull tight. And then you'll have your blanket stitch or um, whatever you call this stitch. I call it a blanket stitch. And then you'll keep going. About a half inch up, push through the back to the front until you get the little loop. You can put your finger there to hold it so that you don't lose it. And then you wanna push your needle through that loop. All right. 
You see? Looks two stitches. Um, to get the tip of his ear, I think I'm gonna go to the middle of his ear like that, up. And up through the root. Now we're gonna turn him. We gotta go to about here. And then through the loop. Uh, it's looking like so far. Oh, don't pull too tight or it might pull his ear. Can you leave it a little loose? It's okay. There we go. And just stick with like doing a half an inch down. And if you have another method for doing this kind of stitch, you can do it whatever way you love to do it. Whatever is easy or comfortable for you, that's exactly what we need here to do. It's all about having fun, like I said. Okay, one ear is done. I'm going to push through the middle, just right in the middle of his head, right there. Oh my gosh, did I get a little bit of a knot? Okay. Can't forget to go through the loop. There we go. He's looking really cute. I like this color combo. I think my cat's gonna like it too. Okay, we're gonna go up to the next ear. Up and through the loop. When you get a hang of it, you can just go as fast as your heart desires. Up and through the loop. Go into his ear. Up. And through the loop. Oh, come on, guy. Up. To this loop. To this guy. I don't lose any fluff through there, but he's gonna be cute no matter what. Through the loop. Through the loop. Up. Through the loop. Up. Through the loop. Up. Through the loop. So now we kind of um, have like two inches left in here. We can, it's a little pocket. We can push the stuffing in before we finish sewing him. So let me get some stuffing. You can have as much stuffing as you want. If you want him to be kind of a little chubby cat, you can make him chubby or you can make him a little, a little smaller. But I'm going to see how much I can push in there. And make sure to push them up into his ear. And then his other ear. And make sure to get that shape. So now that he has his stuffing in him, 
you can finish sewing him. So I'm just gonna take my needle, go up through the back, pull, and through the loop. Up through the back, through the loop, up through the back, through the loop, and then one last stitch, just like that. And now to just tie it off, because look, he's done. Look how cute he is. I think he came out really cute. So now I'm just gonna, ow, <laughs> stab myself. Be careful, everybody. Push up through and then through the loop again a couple times because I want to make sure it's nice and tight, especially with my cat playing with it. I want him to, don't want him to pull it out. I'm just gonna knot it a few times. And then take my scissors and just cut it. And then the little purple cat is complete. And as you can see, it's not perfect. It's not like completely straight, but it it's made with love. And that's the most important thing. So, um, how's everybody doing? Please comment. I can see your comments. I can tell, answer any questions. I'm going to start on the green cat now. So he's going to be have little purple eyes. Or maybe those are blue. <laughs> Not sure. And if you don't have a kit yet, and if you want one, as I said before, I have a bunch of kits left. Um, you can, this is appropriate for teens, tweens, adults, anybody who likes to just sew. This needle's not that sharp. You should be okay. Just make sure you, if you're younger, you have a parent with you. <laughs> So I'm going to use the blue thread for this green cat. And we start with the eyes on the front of his body. Just going to cut a length of string at the arm's length and then thread it. there's so many little strings in embroidery floss that sometimes you, it's hard to get them all through the thread, the eye of the needle, without making a big mess, which is what I did. It's okay. Like I've said before, it's a happy little accident. Oh, wait, that's Bob Ross. Not, not my quote. One of my favorite kids books to read is the, um, what is it, Pete the Cat and His White Shoes. And it's all about like making the best of bad situations because he, um, he keeps stepping in things with his white shoes and getting them really dirty. And I feel like that's a metaphor for life. Like you want everything to go your way and be clean, but then he makes the best of it. He's like, my shoes are now blue. And I love my blue shoes because I stepped in a vat of blueberry. And I guess I just want to live my life like Pete the Cat. Okay. If my white shoes get rainbow tie-dyed, I'd be really happy. Okay. So we're going to put his eyes up or pop it into my face. <laughs> be carefully put his eyes on. So I'm going to start at the bottom right hole. And if you don't have four holes in yours, you're just doing two. That's going to be two. The eyes are going to look great. And then up through, down through the top left. And put little X's over his eyes. And then you put it through the loop at the back. And then we're going to go to the left bottom, up through down through the right top, 
getting my directions correct, flip it over, and then just push through to make a knot, and then through the loop. Most of my sewing things, you're just going to be so going through the loop. I'm going to do a second one just to keep it secure, and then I'm going to cut it off. And he's got one eye, which, um, if you want to just do a one-eyed cat, you can because a lot of people have one-eyed cats. I had a one-eyed cat named Salem, and he was amazing, or is amazing. Um, so if you want to keep a one-eyed cat, you always can. Make your cat unique. Okay. I'll put this up through the right bottom. Some of these um, buttons are going to have smaller holes than other ones. So don't worry if it doesn't fit. Just make it a one-eyed cat. Or a no-eyed cat. Whatever. Whatever's cool with you. Okay. Left to bottom. Right top, and then it's X. Flip it over, go through, the, and then through the loop. And then I'm just going to push it through one more time, and then cut the thread. And this time, I'm not going to forget, we're going to put some whiskers on him. Just make him cute, put some blue whiskers on there. Because what's a cat without whiskers, right? Okay, so we're going to do maybe half an inch down from the eye. We're going to push up through the back. And then we're going to push half an inch or an inch over on his face to make one whisker. And then we're going to go up through the back, half an inch down. I'm just saying half an inch. I don't know if that's half an inch. I am not a ruler, I guess. So <laughs> we're going to go over to make the second whisker, then up, Ooh, don't pull too tight, and in, there's the whiskers, and then I'm just going to do a loop knot, and pull it tight. Pull out the whiskers to make sure they're good. I'm just going to knot it one more time. Okay. Make sure he looks good. And I'm going to cut my thread. I need to cut this one too. I was thread. Don't want it to be too bulky. Okay. Mm. Can I think if I'm gonna have enough thread here? I might not have enough thread. We'll see. Probably will be enough. Okay, so like a half an inch down from the eye, we're gonna push up and then over to make one whisker. We're gonna push up through the back over to make a second whisker and up through the back over to make a third whisker and then he's got six whiskers he's a little bit crooked but he looks funky he looks cute i'm gonna cut the string right there so that i can knot it in the back so i'm gonna just take the two ends and just knot it maybe like four times so that it's not, that it's big enough that it's not going to get pulled through. Just take the two ends, little tails, and just knot it together. Like that. Pull it tight. And then cut the ends. Cut the ends. 
and his front is ready. So now we're going to take his back. We're going to put them on top of each other. And then we're going to get some more thread. Put it through the eye. Okay, can you pull it through? And like before, we're gonna do like an arm's length, a thread doubled. So pull it so that it's doubled, and then cut the end. Then we're gonna tie the ends together like that, and then we have it on our or needle on our thread all ready to go and I'm gonna start I think I liked where I started on it last time so I'm gonna do the same spot I'm gonna go from just right here the first layer we're gonna do through just the top layer and I'm gonna pull it through so that the tail of that's gonna be inside and then I'm going to just push up through both layers to start it off, just like that. So now it's going through both layers. And then I'm going to start going up, like maybe it's a fourth of an inch. Maybe that's a better estimate. Up through the back and then make sure the loop is caught there because we're going to push the needle through that loop to do that stitch. And we're going to keep doing that all the way up, up through the back, through the loop. Like that. Up through the back, through the loop. Make sure you're getting both the back and the front. This is what the back should look like on the front. Okay. I'm going to make a little closer on the ears because on the other one I think I needed more stitches on the ears so I'm gonna make them a little smaller stitches on the ears up through the back Oop. that's not good I need to go through the blue all right up through the back that and then we're going down the other half of his ears yeah I think the smaller stitches on the ears are doing a little better than on my other cat look that looks pretty nice I think it looks nice just like that and no matter what Yours looks like, like I said, it's all about the journey. And every time you do it, it will get better, better every time. Or if you hate it, you want to throw it in the trash, just do that. But sometimes that's for you too. But like, this is not for me. I'm throwing it in the trash. Okay. I'm going to go up the other ear. Up. Through the loop. Up through the loop. I'm going to do the tip of his ear up through the loop. Up through the loop. I like this color. I like the green and blue. Looks really cool. Through this loop. How's everybody doing? I haven't seen any comments. Are you there? Okay, up. Through the loop. Make sure you're catching the both pieces of felt, okay? 
that's really important because we're sewing it together. And then we're going around his bottom. This cat is almost there. Okay. When I get around this corner, ooh, I gotta put it through the loop. I'm going to stuff him now that I have this about inch pocket left. I'm gonna put his stuff in. It. I'm gonna put his stuff in. Oh, maybe I needed a bigger hole, but it's okay. I'll put it in there. And if you need like a pencil or something, push it in. Or a pen. That always works too. <laughs> Push it up into his ears so it gives him some form. Push it down into his little bottom. This is a healthy cat. He eats his breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This cat has enough stuffing. My cat has um, started to get into trouble because whenever I um, use the restroom, I have to make sure to put the lid down on the toilet because he, he likes to throw his toys into the toilet water. So especially with ones that have fluff in them, I found them and they're just dripping wet and I'm like, how did you get this all wet? And then I realized he's been throwing them in the toilet and then just fishing them out. It's like a game to him. So every time I have to close the seat because he's not smart enough yet to open the seat himself. I think. Maybe. You know, cats are really smart, so. <laughs> but... Yeah, if anybody else's cats do weird things like that, let me know because it's so funny. He also plays fetch. He'll like this toy. He'll bring it. He'll bring a toy like this to me, and I'll throw it, and he'll bring it back like at least ten times before he's tired. Which I never knew a cat that played fetch until I met him. So we're gonna just stitch it up to the ending. Let me go a little bit. Push through to end it. Just knot it a little bit more just to keep it nice and secure. We're playing fetch with Hermes. He'll love it. Thread, and then voila look the babies are done so if you didn't get a kit and you want a kit like i said call me here at lamb email me whatever you need um i've got kits available and like i said it's good for like ages 10 and up whatever if your parents allow you to use a needle in your tent i've got them okay and then i have um like i said next friday we're doing the graphic novel hangout check out Cat's Cafe on Hoopla. It's cat themed month for me apparently. Uh, I don't know why. But yeah, we're doing that. I have some cat stickers in these kits. So call us and tell us you want one because we're putting cat stickers. Um, 
And that's about it. If you have any questions or comments or if you finished your cat and you want to post a picture of it, post one in the comments and I can like it and share it. And um, if you need an extra kit, that's good too. Just let me know. If you need some extra embroidery floss, I have a lot. If you need extra buttons because your buttons are gone, I got those. No worries. Just hit me up. Um, thanks for coming. I'm hoping you guys are having a safe and happy December and you're staying warm. And um, continue to enjoy these videos because I'm enjoying them. <laughs> All right. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you.